Hello, everybody, and welcome to another exciting episode of Radio Rama. Except this probably won't be that exciting because it's just a four tube Admiral clock radio with kind of a not so exciting cabinet. And the bake light is not in very good shape. Condition unknown. But we do know it looks like the clock is working. So let's go ahead and let it rip. Let's see what it will do. Got to turn these guys on via the clock. And let's see if there's any any lights. I can't really see. I can't really see. I see a little bit of a filament back there. So we have filament. That's good. And they aren't just comments unrelated to official duties. They are directly related to official. Works perfect. Hmm. There's a tag on it though. Let's see, what does the tag say? Twelve, two thousand three, recapped Raj. Well, apparently it's been recapped. Um I think I remember with this radio. It's been sitting in my closet for a long time because so I didn't really want to work on it. Uh this is one of our pandemic radios, which is during the worst parts of the pandemic when everyone was staying home. Uh, we would take turns individually going over to the museum and picking up radios to bring home to our houses to restore, and I think this is one of those sets. So this might be a little bit of a quickie video. Because the cabinet's not in great shape, um, I am going to repaint it, and I got this interesting color the other day at the hardware store. Celery green. <laughs> I think that'll go good. You've got kind of like these uh, yellowish colored knobs and this white clock face. I like the fact the clock doesn't have any uh, radium painted hands or anything, so I don't have to worry about that. Even though the radium they used was in very small quantities at this point, you'd have to scrape it off and eat it, which I don't recommend. <laughs> But at the very least, it's going to call for total reassembly, or disassembly, the opposite of reassembly. Make sure and keep the parts where I can find them. Take it over to the sink and clean it up and uh, go and paint. It's supposed to be hot this weekend, so it's perfect for painting. Okay, so all the guts are out of here, and you can see there's not much to it. This is a little PC board with um, four tubes and a little pie pan speaker in the back. And a Clarsta clock comes out the front. And it's a little dirty. Okay, we're going to take it over to the sink and get all this grime off of there. It's real important to clean these up real well if you intend to paint them. They just look better if you get the grime off, because otherwise the paint won't stick. Okay, so now it's time to paint the cabinet. I did clean it up with rubbing alcohol. And uh, I'm in a different place. I'm in my backyard. Y'all have probably never seen it. It's not very impressive, but it is what it is. Uh, so, and what you want to do is go over it with wide sweeping motions, like this. I'm not going to film it because every time I try to film it, I lose my balance and I wind up doing a bad job. So, I'm going to get to it. Okay, welcome back to day two, working on the uh, Admiral, and I've let the paint sit here and cure for a little bit. I do like that color. I think I might have my wife go over this lettering here so it sticks out and just adds a little more character to it. And now it's time to get back to the chassis, which, as noted, has been rebuilt. But somehow I wound up two of the leads snapped off. There's one coming off the clock here and then one coming off the chassis. And my assumption is that the brown lead goes here because that's one side of the incoming AC. And then this comes out the other. This is the switch, and that goes to chassis. And I see this little burnt off part here. So I think that's where that goes. But I'm going to make sure, I'm going to solder that back in to make sure that that, that actually is the case. I see another wire here. It says blue. What's blue supposed to be? That damn wire's come off too. There must have been really shitty solder joints on this. Completely coming apart. Oh well, it's easy to fix. 
Welcome back. Day three of working on the Admiral, and I have a confession to make, and I have to admit that I didn't film any of it, and it would have been very delightful for you, the audience, to have seen what happened, which was, I don't know why, but like three of the wires came loose on this, and just come to say that I make as much mistakes as everyone else does, but I could not figure out why I wasn't getting any power. I was looking at the schematic, assuming I was doing it right, and long story short, there was a there was a brown wire coming off of here, and I thought, well, logically the brown wire should come and join up this other brown wire. It's like color coded, right? And uh, so then I connected it up, and boom! It was like a huge cloud of smoke, and it stripped my circuit breaker. And uh, what it was is that this wire is actually was I thought it went here. It's, it actually goes there. I was creating a short. So at that point, I was like, I need to go inside and get some dinner. Like, I need to think about this. So I came out today and corrected it. And now it does work. And so now the next thing is going to be adding the audio input feature, which I do to all of these guys. Excuse me. And that tends to uh, involve adding a little switch that comes out the back that disconnects the IF signal. And also we'll need to run a audio through something called a safety isolation transformer, which is pretty key. You need to do that in order to uh, make sure that the user is electrically isolated from any potentially dangerous current, even though there shouldn't be because we're coming off the uh, volume pot and there's not much there, but we just do it anyway. So added layer of safety. Safety is pretty key, especially when you're like us and you're a nonprofit. You want to make sure you do everything right. All right, so this is what we need in order to install our audio input feature. We have this audio cord that will go through this isolation transformer and basically the line from the audio cord will go in through the secondary and then the primary will go to the volume pot. It'll go to either side. And um, the other thing we need to do is install a switch wire which will be part of that and then a switch to disconnect the IF. And what we need to do is go into the um, volume control. And we have three legs. This one, this one, and this one. You see here? One, two, three. Here they are underneath. And what we need to do is clip that wire, that lead right there, because this one is the ground that would make it the bottom of the pot by the process of elimination. That is the top of the pot. And let's make sure there's not a lead. There's no lead coming off the top of it either. So that's the only way for the signal to get in. So we can clip that and install the switch wire. Then what I want them to do is install the chassis. And uh, we'll clock and chassis. And then we'll need to glue in the isolation transformer. And I'm going to leave a long gangly wire coming out. Because I'm not sure. I want to keep it as short as possible. But I want to make sure I have enough. So that I can put the uh, isolation transformer somewhere like here probably okay so we have our two leads coming out this is for the turn the uh, switch off and on we'll be able to cut this a lot shorter the longer you make this the more you have a little bit of potential to pick up something like when we play music on that I'm, I've got this cranked all the way up it's gonna be more like like that and then this is the wire that goes with the isolation transformer and then we'll have a um, the cord will come through here, we'll tie a knot through one of those holes so you can't yank it out of there. So now that I've confirmed that the switch wire does work, I can install the rest of this into the cabinet. And uh, then proceed to install the isolation transformer. Alright, so I've got the isolation transformer installed. We have a knot tied in this. That'll go through that hole that'll be sealed up with glue. We have our audio switch, well, IF switch. So we got music playing through this little Bluetooth thing. Not bad sounding. Anyway, I want to uh, put a little more glue around this guy. Makes me feel a little bit more better about it. I want to make sure that it's not going to move anywhere. Um, again, I want to mount this switch. I think I'm going to clean the tubes. I didn't do that. And I think I want to clean the 
contacts a little bit before I button it up completely. I did fix a tear in the speaker, but I can still see a little bit of light coming through over here. I need to dab that up. And then we need to uh, polish up the clear plastic clay, uh, clear plastic for the, uh, the clock front. It's got a little scratching on it. Clean up the knobs and it will be mostly done. Okay, so we got pretty much all of it assembled. The, the few last touch up things, I'm cleaning the knobs in a little simple green and warm water solution. And then I'm going to use this uh, Nova's number two, excuse me, fine scratch remover, and that'll be used to remove all the scratches on that. That'll just make it look a little bit nicer. My wife has agreed to paint this, these raised letters orange, which I think will look really cool. In fact, should I, uh, should I dare ask her to paint this orange too? No, it's fine. All right, uh, let me get to polishing this guy. All right, so I've got this guy back together again, and actually uh, my wife, who's much better at painting things, did the lettering on the Admiral here. It just adds a little bit of flair. Actually, it's been sitting in my garage for two weeks, and I, for some reason, could never got around to filming the last little tidbit of this episode. But it works well. Clock keeps good time. Uh, radio works well. Bluetooth, which is what I'm running right now, works well, too. Yeah, it's not like Amazing Fidelity, but whatever. Anyway, that concludes this episode. Hope you guys learned a thing or two. Got a little bit of entertainment out of it as well. So until the next time something comes across my workbench, which is going to be quite a few things lately because we're getting ready for an auction. I'll see you guys next time. Adios.